Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, we're going to Pro Life Foods to look at the inventory and to Some ask systems. them questions about their inventory systems. And what's your class? Who the, this class for oh, people uh, that don't know? This is Mella's level two accounting class. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you hope to find out there? Um, a little bit more about how their their business runs and their inventory systems. Okay, the inventory. Yeah. Okay. Have you done this in class already? Yes, we learned about the periodic system <laughs> and the perpetual system. We're going to grow life foods for our inventory internal to hopefully make this a bit more real for the girls so they can write a really good report around the inventory. All of this um, comes through here. We've got a factory down the road, the Donovan's Chocolate Factory, and we have uh, pretty much most of the warehouses the and how do you make sure they're fresh and they don't just get topped up and you know they're like the, uh, the old stuff just, yeah, uh, we've got an operational excellence model that we run in store and uh, we're the only people in New Zealand that uh, the people in store work for us uh, typically uh, merchandise will come in and then they'll go out oh. uh, we could go out for an hour but these people will uh, stay in that store and that's theirs and they own it so cycling stock is hugely important for us so they clean the bins on an ongoing basis which involves it being it out, cleaning it, and then you put the new stuff at the bottom and you put the normal you know, stuff on top. So, yeah. That's actually really important because if a uh, customer gets a bad experience, that's just, there's no really work. So we should really focus on that to make it as good as possible. But it, it comes at a cost, you know, look, it's um, the, the highest standard you want, but you know, you've got to pay for it. So it's balancing all of these things. Um, and finished goods, obviously, is a, is a big one because that's what we sell. So all of that stuff behind Marcus there is um, finished goods that we actually sell to the public team. That for inventory in particular, like Ross, who's the head there, he could spend up to $500,000 a time just purchasing containers to cash use it. So um, yeah, his delegate authority is, is, is very wide. Um, but, but no risk in that. The risk is he makes a dumb decision and buys it for the wrong price, or he buys too much. But there's no risk of uh, misappropriation or anything because they're containers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. I've actually got here some samples of some better bars. To oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just grab a box on the way out. There's raspberry and chopped berry, I think. It's cool. Ooh. So, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoy that. Of course we will. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 no.